Hello everyone, installing Falcon probably reminds you of your first time having anal sex. It was difficult, frightening and confusing and you had a pain in your arsehole for days. However, you quickly learned never to go anywhere with a stranger promising you a ride in his big pink aeroplane. This journey will be just as informative but a lot less painful. Welcome to 4 Minutes Falcon, this time we're covering installation and setup. Before I do anything else, a big thank you to Mr. Ted for the title suggestion. There's quite a large shopping list with this one and the first thing you'll need is an original copy of Falcon 4. You may download it from either GOG or Steam. The next thing you need is a BitTorrent client. I recommend QBitTorrent because it's open source and free. Download and install it because you're going to need it for the next steps. Visit the BMS forum, set up an account and download 433U1. Don't forget to run the torrent file to begin downloading. Navigate to 433U2, click on the link and run the torrent to begin downloading. Navigate to 433U3 and do exactly the same as before. Go to Tom's Flight Art and download the Ostsea Theatre. Please remember Tom does amazing work and doesn't stick it behind a paywall, so if you have a few shekels to spare please consider donating. While you're here download Tom's cockpit textures and don't be stingy if you have a few shekels lying around please donate. With all torrents and downloads complete, you may close Qubit and get to work. First install Falcon 4 by running the setup file. There's nothing complex here, just the usual I agree, next, next, location, complete, exit. Don't install DirectX 6 as you already have 11 or 12. Unzip VMS 433U1 and for convenience copy it to the same drive as Falcon 4. Run the setup file, click next, accept and next again. Make sure you're installing it to the same drive as Falcon 4. It'll search around a while and eventually find what it's looking for. When it does, click Next and Next again. At the end of the installation, click Next and Finish. Next run the 433U2 file. The next bit is vital for the successful installation of both the U2 and U3 files, so please listen carefully. Navigate to the Falcon BMS 433U1 setup folder you copied to your C drive originally, not the 433U1 folder. Drill into the folder and select the folder with the identical name inside and press OK. Select Install and Next and wait for the program to find the update. When the update is found, click Next and Next. When the update is complete, click Next, Finish and Close. Run the U3 setup file and click Understood. Browse to and drill into the U1 setup folder, selecting the folder inside of the same name. Click OK to select the folder and install to begin. Click Next and follow exactly the same procedure as last time. When it's done, click Next, Finish and Close. Congratulations, you have just installed BMS 433 and all the updates. Now copy the OSC Theatre folder. Navigate to the Falcon BMS 433U1 folder. Go to Data and copy in your theatre. When copied, navigate to Teradata, go to Theatre Definition, right-click on Theatre.lst and open with Notepad++. Add the following line at the bottom. Click Save and Exit when done. Now open the Hi-Res Cockpit folder and copy all the images. Navigate to Falcon BMS 433U1, go to Data, Teradata, Objects and Korea OBJ. Paste in the files, click Replace and you're golden. Launch BMS and check to make sure the Ostsea Theatre is there. Go to Settings and Graphics, make sure the resolution is at 1080p. Turn Multi Sampling on and Quality Level 3. Set Canopy Cues to both. Set Object Density, Object Detail, Tree Density and Grass Density to their highest settings and leave everything else alone. Now the one that causes everybody the most arseache. Click Load, click BMS Full and Load again. Click Advanced and make sure Track IO is enabled. Click Flight Control and set up your axes. This is a fairly logical process involving rudder, throttle, pitch roll and brakes. You may have to reverse the tow brakes. If you have a Warthog you can set the little clitoris at the front of the throttle to act as a TDC cursor. Click OK and program your stick and throttle switches from the list on the right. Set your afterburner level. Click Apply, Save, BMS Full, Save again and Exit BMS. Go to Falcon BMS 433U1, User, Config and make these files read-only. Now you can launch and enjoy your Ostsea Theatre or any other theatre you wish. Next time I'll be teaching Startup in the F-16. Until then, I thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.